Right. So we're here in Manchester with the Shimmer Band, Soup Kitchen. Ooh. How are we feeling? We're feeling good. I'm really excited. All right. <laughs> All right. Feeling good and excited. Yeah, no, I'm really... Um, we've been on tour for two weeks now, and uh, I've been... I'm not just saying this, I've been looking to looking forward to this gig the most. Well, it is Manchester. Yeah, exactly. It's Manchester. It's, it's, it's my The spirit. music capital of the UK. It's our spiritual home. Your spiritual home. Yeah. So how did it all begin with the Shimmer Band? How long have you been together? Um, how long have we been together? Uh, probably about th- two or three years now. About two or three years. Uh, we got together. I mean, we all went to school together, so we've known each other our whole lives. And then... Um, we decided to, we've all been in bands doing different things and then we decided to start a new band called The Shimmer Band and we got together, recorded some songs and thought, yeah. So how far along down the line did it take you until people started realising, shit, who are these? Because <laughs> <laughs> recently um, there's a big blowout with you. Well basically it was, it was last year because we didn't, we didn't really put any music out for ages and then last year we put out our first single Shoot Me Baby at the start of the year and then and in the summer we put out Freedom and I think it was from from putting out Freedom it sort of just it sort of went, went from there yeah it went from there I think that's when people started getting a bit excited I think the timing with Freedom was brilliant because it is such a summer tune as well yeah yeah and, it, and we ended up doing a couple of festivals because of that song and, like, and, and we got loads of gigs out of it and stuff like that do so. you find it with that sort of song that went up and got yeah, the definitely, definitely. Well, as soon as we put that song out, it definitely stepped up a level, and uh, yeah, so that's really good. And then at the end of the summer, we put out uh, Sun Kick. I oh, know, I know. Before that, uh, Freedom basically got us uh, Redden in Leeds. They got us Made of L. Yeah, you know, Steve, got us loads got of us, good uh, stuff. Yeah, got us on Stephen Mack did it. Uh, six Music. Yeah, Stephen Mack like so, jumped on it, so it got us loads of good stuff. That song. So you've got a lot of people behind you as well at the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's good. And then obviously this year you've got a lot of festivals lined up, a lot of gigs as well. You're coming to the back end of the tour now, so we're in Manchester and you've got two more gigs left, haven't you? Yeah, we've got a hometown gig tomorrow in Bristol. A hometown tomorrow. And then uh, we've got London next week, can't we? Yeah. This Friday. <laughs> and then London London next week with uh, Blinders and Sister Ray, which is going to be it's gonna be a good one. Huge. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a real good night. Friday night as well, so... Yeah. Belt River night. So where do you get your sort of inspiration from with the songs you write? Because you're completely different at the minute to what's out there. I think um, we were like, well, we were all 90s babies. So we sort of grew up listening to Britpop and, you know, lots of things like that. And uh, we were big fans of Creation Records and all the acts that are on that label. So you've got like Super Furry Animals, Jesus and Mary Chain, Primal Scream, Ride, My Bloody Valentine, Oasis, like... We're sort of, yeah, we're a bit of a product of that, really. Get from there. Yeah. And it, it's worked as well, because, like, like I say, I see a lot of bands up and coming that are all very guitar and indie-fied, whereas mm. when I came to see you, it was like, oh, that's different. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we definitely want to be a little bit different, you know? We got, there's a, you know, there's, we're into hip-hop and dance music and, you know, we're into everything. You know, like most people are now, aren't they, so... Most people. Yeah. Yeah, most people went into a bit of everything, aren't they? Yeah, they've got an iPods or shuffle, and a <laughs> now, dabble and a little bit of everything. If you could have a jam session with anybody, who and why would it be? I don't play an instrument, so you'd have to ask... Uh, well, you, I mean, you attempt to play an instrument. <laughs> attempt. <laughs> you have to ask the musicians. Oh, man, that's a hard question. Cause it's like, that's Jimi Hendrix, baby! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, what was the question again? Who would you jam with? Like jam with, play with. Oh, it'd have to be Keith Richards, wouldn't it? Just oh, like Keith. For, for producing Do you jam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah. He, he can't really. He's. Oh, exactly. He's he'd have a good chance of. You'd be, able, you'd be able to make him make yourself look good because his fingers are fucked, aren't they? Who would you oh, drum I mean, with? He, he's got. Keith he, Richards got. Probably, <laughs> he got probably nubbins now. Yeah, he has, yeah. <laughs> That's true. His fingers are all fucked. I don't know. That's. Man. <laughs> Dead or Alive? Keith Moon. Dead or Alive. Moony. Nice. Yeah, yeah go out, I mean, I don't want to really jam with them, but I'll go out with, <laughs> I'll go out with Mooney and old um, Oliver Reed for a tear up. <laughs> I'll be up for that. Yeah. Just go and have a pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oli- Oliver Reed and Keith Moon, uh, the original Hellraisers. Yeah. The originals. Yeah. Now, what has been your most iconic gig to date as a band? 
Cardiff Stadium. <laughs> 2016. Yeah, so like... Uh, it, when did this come back? How did we end up doing this? Probably for Back of Freedom, I guess, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It was. We released Freedom in, in May, and I think we got asked like two weeks before... Yeah, so we, got a, we, so we got asked to support the Stereophonics at Cardiff City Stadium. Massive. With Massive the vaccines and band skulls. Yeah. And it was just fucking unbelievable. It Good was, crowd. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 20,000 people when we walked on. And that's just like fucking mint. And is that sort of your dream and where you want to be? You want yeah, to be definitely. Playing these? Yeah, 100%. Like, we want to be, uh, like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to come across like a prick or anything but we want to be a big band you know we want to be a big arena band that's what we, that, yeah. you know when when you're a little kid that's always the dream you know to yeah. be a big arena band the big stadium band or whatever and you know there's no reason why that dream should be I any think different you've got now. what it takes as well with your sound and how tight you are yeah i think so I think, yeah you know our songs are made for big venues you know they're yeah, not definitely you know we you know, we really enjoy playing these little venues in that around the uk but our songs are made for big. Well, we're just building, aren't we? We're going to keep building. But it's made yeah, for the fields, writing. though, as well. Like you're such yeah, yeah, a yeah, good festival band. Like festivals and arenas and stadiums. Like I think that's where the music belongs. And I think it sounds like I think the music sounds better in that environment as well. You know. No sound check. Go yeah, on and play. Straight on. Blare it out. But yeah, that Cardiff City Stadium was something else. You know, that was. Well, it's like it was like no other gig we've ever played. It was unbelievable. Like, yeah. It was a proper yeah, Spinal Tap. Like a couple of tickets. A few. Years, you know, <laughs> yeah. jump straight up. That's yeah. fun. What's your funniest band story you've got to tell? <sighs> I bet you've got a few. I can't help but look at Babsy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Babsy is not involved. It's definitely I'm not so here. involving Babs. We've got many stories involving Babs. <laughs> You're giving the wrong hotel key once. Mm. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, we've, yeah. we've, like, we've done a gig, I can't remember where it was. We played a gig, we had a few bevs, and then we went back to the hotel, they give us the key. We ran in the room because everybody's running to get to the best bed because everybody wants a double bed. We run in the room and uh, That's me. Oh, you burst in the room and there's, there's a fucking bloke lying in the bed, asleep. Nice. Yeah. And you just, the guy just jumps up screaming. Yeah, yeah I don't blame him. Yeah. Like, if, a, but if a group of lads run in your room, you're going to fucking shit yourself, aren't you? I was, I was trying to climb over it to get <laughs> to my in there, so I pushed everyone out of the way, ran in and this bloke literally just jumped up. Just in the he screamed at me. I screamed at him. He was probably like, like to get in bed with him then. No, no, no it was tempting. Yeah. He's probably like on a business meeting or something, you know, like just yeah. like working away from home, probably really stressed out. He's like, oh, finally get in bed. And then a group of lads just run in on his room. Yeah, it's a bit of a cock up. But, but, uh, it's because our uh, sound guy snores so loud, so everyone wants to be in the other room. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. We were racing for the. We're racing the for the. Now, yeah, we had new music out today, didn't we? Oh, was yes. that? New music out today. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's all yeah. over social media. Yeah, we got a new single out. Talk yeah. about it. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got a new single out. We got a new song out. It's called "What Is Mine." Uh, what's the set about it? We open. We yeah, we, it's, our, it's we usually open our set with it because it's a big, beastie number. I like it. It's, it's one of my particular favourites. I think. Yeah. It's a, it's definitely, it's a, it's a festival tune. So we thought, yeah, you know, we'd yeah. do it now, yeah, for the, the summer. Yeah, yeah, we're doing time for the summer because yeah, it's got that big sort of festival vibe about it, open arms, unifying. Everybody hug each other. Yeah. And wear gold. Yeah. And shimmery clothes. Yeah. So what have you got lined up now this year? Obviously, you've got festivals, end of the tour, anything back end of the year that you've got lined up. Maybe. When, when, when's this going out? Whenever you want it to. That's right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna. Well, I'll just say about this being tour then. I mentioned it. Harry, just do it. <laughs> well, yeah, so we're doing all. The, we're going to do a load of festivals throughout the summer, and then um, we're doing a big. I think we're going to do a big tour in October with this feeling. Nice. And I think it's going to be. Uh, there's going to be a few bands in that lineup. And when's this being announced? We don't know yet. <laughs> I think it might be next month. So we'll put this out next Monday. Yeah, yeah that's all. <laughs> that's all. But uh, yeah, so uh, we got that to look forward to, and I think probably we'll. That's, that's yeah. going to be a big one as well. Yeah, it's going to be a big tour. It's a big tour. It's going to be four or five bands in that tour. Yeah. And I, I think possibly we'll put our maybe put our album out. Album for that tour. Nice. I don't know if that would be a nice. I don't know what else to say. No, it's just an idea at the minute. But well. are there any other bands at the minute on the unsigned scene that you're into? Well, last night we uh, we had a, a cool band support us. We did. We've, <laughs> Ivory Wave. Ivory Wave. They're oh, really Ivory good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Ivory Wave. They were really cool. They were really good. 
Manchester tonight, we definitely will. one of my new favourite bands on the scene by far. Thank you very much. So enjoy yourselves and I'll see you see in you the, the future. <laughs>